I am here at Naked Winery in downtown Hood River. I am with Emma, and you're gonna to explain to us a little bit about the varieties of wine. That's right. We, I like to say that we have something for everybody. So whether you enjoy sweet wines, a dry, really crisp white, a lighter red, a bolder red, we definitely have something for everyone. Released this weekend is our Booty Call. It's a sweet blush, and it's a white Cabernet done in the Sanier process. Really big hit in the summertime especially. One of my favorites is our Pinot Gris. Really crisp, really nice, bright acidity, good solid fruit, and well balanced. But my favorite white is our Fourplay Chardonnay. I could uh, double dose on this any day. <laughs> <laughs> on to the reds, I really am a fan of our Vixen Syrah. In the last six months, I would say it's come to maturity very well. Um, it's still young and it's still bright. It's a 2010 Syrah from Applegate Valley and um, a very good pairing with a little salami, a little bit of a dry aged cheese. Who doesn't want to have a Vixen around? <laughs> well, naked is fun. You say naked to a person who's four years old or 104, and the first thing they're going to do is smile. So that's the idea. We get people to relax and have fun. The real mission of our company is we'd like couples across America to shut off the multimedia TV experience and relax and have a glass of wine with each other, look in each other's eyes, and talk to each other, and we think if we really do that well, that we can cut the worst way in America to have. Everybody acts like they're on a first date. The guy will say something stupid, she laughs, he says something stupid, he laughs. I mean, the banter that comes out of people's mouths is really fun. So you're here in our main room in the Hood River Taste Room, and we want it to be like going over your best friend's house and having a glass of wine. That's how you should feel, just completely relaxed. So that's why we have couches. So when you go over to your friend's house, you sit back, relax, and have a glass of wine. We have live music um, in the winter, Saturdays, and Monday nights. Monday nights are um, a local local musicians kind of play. So in addition to the, the, the main taste room here, we have a lot of people who are members of Club Naked. For those guys and gals, we have a special club room where uh, it can be a little more calmer uh, and we can allow those guys to have more special attention paid to them. This is our wine club room. How do you be in the club? Pay a set price. You always know how much you're going to pay. And then we have big parties in here for the wine club pickup parties. And then this room is also available for wine club members to have private events um, like birthday parties or bachelorette parties or whatever they, they want to do. You know, I mean, there's a difference between romance and wine. And you know, the sex is you go out, you know, you go to a bar, you know, you have no conversation, you don't have anything with anybody, you just, you know, yes, it can be fun, but it's not, there's no longevity, it's, there's nothing fun about it really long term. Romance is, you know, me showing up at your house with a log for the fireplace, a board game, a box of chocolates, and a bottle for a play. And I say, I'll make you dinner, you make me breakfast. And then you wake up the next morning and I'm wearing a pair of blue gloves and I'm in your bathroom cleaning and you're like, nothing's more sexier than that. That's right. <laughs> but uh, no, it is, there is a big difference. You know, there is a big difference between romance and, and you know, sex sells. And, you know, we're about the romance. You know, it's about the foreplay. It's about, you know, planting the seed. You know, turn off your TV, turn on your fireplace. When you're going wine tasting, you really, you're looking for entertainment. You're looking for a fun thing to do. What are we going to do today? Let's go taste wines. Yeah. And if you come in here and someone offers you a taste of cougar or a little booty call, it, you're going to have, you just are going to laugh. You're going to laugh, you're going to have a good time. The jokes are going to start flying. Someone's going to have a joke. It, it becomes unpretentious and all of a sudden you're talking to the people next to you. I am looking forward to tasting a couple of your wines yeah. and, uh, and going out talking to Peter, the winemaker. Shall we pour you some yes, booty call? Yes, Now this is booty call. Yep. Love it. This is a, this is a blush. It's a white cab. It's one of our sweeter wines. Mmm. Ooh. It does taste like cab. Light, summer, great for the porch. Yeah, let me get you our Climax. This is a mm -hmm. Cab Merlot blend. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny the things you come up with. Oh, <laughs> yes. Climax. Change is this, the conversation. Is this a blend? What is this? Yes, yeah. it's, a, it's a Cab Merlot Syrah mm. blend. It's very sour. nice. Mm -hmm. This is my type of wine right here. Good. Very nice. You know, we do have another company called Outdoor Wine Out, and these are alternative packaging bottles, and you know, it's just very light. It's about five times lighter than a normal bottle, so you can go hiking with this. It's really nice because it's a screw top. You can refill it with water, whatever you want to do. You can throw it in the river, get it cold again. This is mm -hmm. a plastic bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that eliminates that, oh, no glass allowed in mm -hmm. this park or at this event. You've totally right. gotten around this. And that's brilliant because you can refill it. Great. It's, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. And you guys have uh, annual events? We have um, several events. We've got. A lot of events that are open to the public um, for everyone. We've got like a medieval banquet where 
Um, we eat with our hands, and everyone dresses up. It's it's Aww. really it's a really a lot of fun. We've got our exotic erotic ball um, around Halloween, which again everyone dresses up and or try it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do a lot of stuff for our wine club members as well. A lot of outings. Um, we just went up to Mount Hood Meadows and did a be naked oh. day, and we mm -hmm. do a wildflower hike. Um, Bonfires. Mm -hmm. National oh. Corn Dog Day. There's a local guy here, Scott Willems, who uh, he specializes in overseas expeditions to the Seven Summits and a lot of other places. And I approached him a couple of years and I said, hey, would you, you know, if I made you a banner, would you take it up to the Everest for us? And our odds are pretty good because he's already made it up there four times. And so he made it up there. Wow. And I also made him another banner. It was about four feet by three feet, picture of Mount Everest, and it said, naked wineries always on top. <laughs> so they're all partying with disco music. They have no idea what they're doing, but... Well, cheers. Cheers yes. to you both. Yes. So I'm looking forward to continuing to uh, sip on your wine and uh, get naked. Get naked. And get naked. Get naked. <laughs> That's like climax. <laughs> okay, so I'm with Peter Steinfeld and we made it over to where you make the wine. You are one of the winemakers for that Naked Winery. Yes. Um, what we're doing here in Good River, we are concentrating much more on the reserve wines, the orgasmic wines, lots of the reds. We try to be creative. Uh, especially when it comes to our orgasmic wines. We try to bring out um, interesting varietals. We are trying to be somewhat creative sometimes with the winemaking process based on what we've learned from our mostly wine club members. And so can we today, because I've never done this and I don't know if it's possible, can we take a tasting right out of a barrel? Yeah, absolutely. So, really? I would yeah. love to do that. Okay, then okay. let's go do it. Let's do it. This is a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm. They are both in the second year, so they impart just a little bit less oak flavor than some of the brand new barrels. Wow. I'll just take one to go. Okay. Right, so okay. Like our, sure. Would you like to carry yeah, it into your car? That'd be great. <laughs> Maybe you want <laughs> Maybe I'll work for it. You never know. So this is our uh, orgasmic Syrah, and it's been filtered. SO2 additions. This is ready and sealed up all for bottling. Wow. Fire. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Cheers from Naked Winery. Cheers.